Hello everybody. This morning we are in San Marco. Uh, it's a uh, section of Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, it is one of the old historic districts. Uh, it is a uh, really popular area to, uh, to go and have a cup of coffee or go to the restaurants or some of the little boutiques as you can see here there are uh, a lot of little restaurants little shops In the 1920s, San Marco was developed as an 80-acre subdivision. By 1926, the commercial area was laid out with a tiered fountain capped by an ironwork finial at its center. In the 1960s, the fountain was covered by plexiglass with neon tubing. In the 1980s, it stopped functioning and generally fell into disrepair. When you're here in San Marco, you'll notice uh, the lion motif. Here we are in front of the, uh, the lion uh, fountain, uh, but you'll see the, the lion motif in other place uh, back here uh, on the uh, pillar in the roundabout. It has a lion that, uh, on it, uh, you'll, but uh, like I said, you'll see the, yeah, the lion motif show up a lot here in San Marco. Uh, that's because San Marco is named after St. Mark. St. Mark was associated with uh, the lion. The lion was, was his symbol. Here in the middle of uh, San Marco, they have this uh, nice little park here where we just saw the, the lion fountain here at the one end. Uh, it's got some some benches and places where you can uh, sit and uh, have a cup of coffee or uh, some pastries. With the opening of the St. John's River Bridge in 1921, South Jacksonville became attractive developers during the Florida land boom. In 1925, Jacksonville real estate developer Telfair Stockton began work on San Marco, an 80-acre Mediterranean-inspired community. Unlike many earlier developments, which were laid out following a grid street pattern, San Marco shows the influence of the city beautiful movement. Its winding streets, planted medians, and use of parks and larger lots create a varied landscape and interesting building sites. San Marco developed rapidly. Before the streets were paved and the muddy clay pit of a former brickyard became Lake Marco. Lots were sold in a frenzy of speculation during September 1925. By late 1926, San Marco Square, the development's business district, was laid out. It was inspired by the Piazza San Marco in Venice, which Stockton had visited on a trip to Europe. One of the square's original buildings, the St. Mark's Building, built in 1927, retains an arch facade and tile roof typical of the Mediterranean Revival style of architecture. San Marco's original residential neighborhood lies along the St. John's River west of this marker. We're right up the street from uh, Albus Park where the lion statue uh, was and all of the shops and the, uh, the restaurants. Uh, now we're here in front of uh, San Marco Preservation Hall. Uh, you can see it there with the sun glare. Uh, the, uh, the hall is the old uh, San, uh, St. Paul's Episcopal Church. Uh, it was uh, relocated here to this spot in uh, San Marco. Uh, it used to be off of uh, Atlantic, which is a, uh, it doesn't matter where it is. Uh, it was moved here by River Barge. Uh, the river is uh, back this direction, uh, the other side of uh, the first park we were in. Uh, 
so they were able to put it on a river barge and, and bring it over here uh, and as you can see it's a, uh, I think you might be able to get a little better picture there uh, it's set on these beautiful grounds here uh, I'm sorry about the wind but uh, you know, uh, this is a public park it's open to to the public uh, you can come in and visit uh, uh, pretty much any time uh, of course you have to, to come uh, when the, uh, the preservation hall is open if you want to go inside uh, they used to uh, open up the little church here uh, for weddings so you could uh, rent it out for weddings I don't know whether they still do that or not okay well I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed uh, our short tour of San Marco. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, comments, feel free to uh, put them down below or shoot me a message. Thanks for watching. Take care.